Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd just take a minute to talk to you about meal planning and why and how I meal plan. So I started meal planning um, probably about six months ago now in an attempt to get more organised. Before that I sort of had a general idea when I was doing the shopping what we'd be roughly having but didn't have an actual plan. So I thought that no, I was going to keep it as a set plan so that everybody would know what we're having every single night of the week. And then also plan in lunches and breakfasts and things like that. So I started doing it as a way of getting more organised. Since then, I've found several other reasons why I think meal planning is amazing. Um, the first one being that since we started doing it, we have saved a fortune on food. We have so much less waste as well. And we also, the other thing that seems to have happened is that the girls are eating more and a larger variety of food because they're getting a choice in what's, what we eat. Everybody has set days in which they can choose what we're having. And when they've chosen a day and they know that everybody is eating what they have chosen, they're much more willing to try what we've chosen. So it doesn't always work, and obviously there's things they don't like and that kind of thing, but it has helped getting them to try things, which has always been a nightmare because they've, always, they've both always been quite fussy. So that's why I meal plan. Now how I meal plan, I always start my meal planning on a Friday night because after work on a Friday, it's a time when we're all at home. We can all sort of sit and go through our meal planning before we sort of start the weekend. So on a Friday, what I'll do first of all is go through and check the cupboards and the freezer and the fridge and work out what food we still have in the house and any possible meals that we can make with that so that we're using up things that need using before buying things that will then, you know, and then food will end up going to waste. Once I know what we've already got and the kind of meals we can create with that, we'll then all sit down together and everybody will sort of take a turn to choose a meal. We have some sort of dietary requirements in this house. So I myself am gluten free and my husband is on a diet so he's all low fat and things like that. So we, rather than cooking several meals, we always try and find meals that we can all eat together. Now, my youngest, Emily, she doesn't like sauces and things like that. So whenever we're planning a meal, we also plan things where I can sort of take her a portion out so that she can have things separately. Um, she does not like any kind of sauces. Tried all sorts of things. She's not having any of it, apart from gravy, loves gravy. Um, so once I've done, or once we've created the meals that we want, and I've then sort of ticked off what we've already got, I can go through and work out all of the ingredients for those meals, and work out a shopping list. And what I'll then do is I will do my shopping online on a Friday night to be delivered on a Saturday morning reason that I do do it that way, although if I go to Lidl or Aldi I can get it cheaper, it ends up not being cheaper because I will impulse buy things or I will change my mind on the meal plan which nobody else in the house you know takes very kindly to and we'll end up with extra food and things like that again so by doing it online I can really keep a check on what I'm doing and what I'm spending and everything else. Once I have done the online shop I then write down everything. We have a board stuck to our fridge it's just blackboard vinyl, cheap blackboard vinyl which I have stuck to the front of the fridge and we just have Monday through to Sunday all of the meals written down which our meal plan then starts on a Saturday so we have the Saturday and the Sunday at the bottom and then we go up to the Monday don't know why I've written it like that, it's just always 
always been like that. And then everybody knows what's coming. The last thing I'll do, by way of getting organised and getting ready for the week, is that on a Sunday, anything that can be sort of prepared in advance will be prepared in advance. So that then during the week, it just speeds things up so that we get to spend as much time together as a family as possible. Because we do have limited time. I work, my husband works, the girls both at school. So when we're all at home, we want to be doing the fun stuff, really. Uh, one other thing that I do do, when we're going through and making the meal plan, we'll also work out lunches. So if the girls have packed lunches at school and then sort of cooked lunches and things when they're at home, unless it's really hot like it has been this week and then we do picnic lunches and that kind of thing. But my husband will take a portion of whatever we've had for dinner the night before, he will then take a portion of that to work for lunch. So that's then saving money on his lunches and things like that as well. And it means, again, he knows what he's having every day. And it saves the whole, oh, right, I need to make my lunch and all of that panic before going to work. So that has worked out really well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, I would love to hear your comments on meal planning and other ways you get organised in the kitchen. Um, like I say, it's been a massive help to me, saved us so much time. So I hope it helps you too. And I will see you next time. Bye.